Reddit, what's the worst thing you've accidentally texted to the wrong person? Yeah get the boat ready, I just told my boss I was sick and won't be in today. To my boss. It is worth noting that my boss was cool about it and responded with base fever ha. <laughs> Texted my straight male friend, you make me so unbelievably hard. Intended for my girlfriend. He just went with it assuming I was joking with him. Edit. I accidentally a word. Also, thanks for the gold. I'll have to figure out what it does. <laughs> Texted my high school football coach goodnight. I love you as a freshman. Intended for my girlfriend. He made me run extra at practice the next day for telling a girl I loved her as a freshman. Life lesson learned. I went on a date with this girl. Went very boringly. However, I could tell she thought it was going great. We said goodbye, and I was on my way. A few hours later, a friend texted and asked me how the date went. I texted with an entire paragraph of why the date sucked and why I didn't like her. I got her as a response. To my horror, I texted the very girl I had just gone on the date with. It was extremely embarrassing, but the girl said she appreciated the honesty. One time I skipped school and stayed home without my parents knowing, and instead of texting my brother, I texted my dad shit dad's home. I just brushed it off and said my brother wanted me to text him that or something stupid along those lines. Freshman year wasn't my brightest. Man you gay after my professor, who turned out to be a homosexual, when it was meant to be sent to my friend cause he texted me, that he just saw Matthew Perry in person, and he was freaking out. My prof didn't reply or anything, so I assumed he just ignored it. When I got into his class the next day I pretended not to know anything, and after a while I just thought he forgot about it, but at the end of the class he called me, and asked how'd I know he was gay. I told him I didn't mean anything bad, and had just texted the wrong person so naturally awkwardness ensued. Long story short he never talked to me again, but gave me a grade higher than I deserved. I want you to wear that little black thing that barely covers your ass tonight, meant for a fuck buddy, sent to my estranged father whom I had recently reconnected with. The kicker? I had told him that I couldn't see him that night because I had a family event to go to. Yikes. Not exactly texted, but I cloud transfer. My girlfriend at the time had wanted a picture of my dick. I had never taken a dick pic before so a why not? So I take the pic and send it to my girlfriend. The next day, I'm with my girlfriend and my dad calls me. I answer and he's like, why the fuck does your mom have a picture of your dick on her phone? This was no ordinary picture either. I was laying on my back, got an erection, and propped my dick up nice and straight, and put the camera beneath my dick with my face in the background. It was some good shit. Turns out they had just set up iCloud that day, and I had used my dad's credit card for music most recently, so my phone was hooked up to their iCloud, and I had no idea, I couldn't luck my mom in the eyes for a while. TL. Doctor, mom get a picture of a triumphant erection of mine. I'm an old person. 70, and my husband and I are still quite playful. One night he put on my bra and panties, and was dancing around. I took a picture or video can't remember which, and accidentally sent it to my daughter. She did not laugh. I was completely mortified, but now we just laugh about it, and she has a broader picture of her parents. My parents were out of town for the night. I invited 10 to 15 people over for a small get together. I incidentally sent a text to my mom when I was doing my mass text. Boy, did I get an ass whooping the next day. Two texts actually. In Hangouts, there's a dice rolling feature, roll d20, that's fun to play with. I thought I was texting my friend, nope. It was my boss. Slash me blocks a punch, and inserts the fist of domination into your rectum, establishing control over your cognitive thoughts. Slash me rolls d20 and gets 15. Yeah. I still have a job there. I sent a smutty fanfiction about Sherlock fucking a chocolate cake to the wrong person on Facebook. I couldn't handle explaining why I'd accidentally sent him gay bakery erotica with the caption this is something you'd be into, so I just never spoke to him again. When I die, that is how he'll remember me. Sorry brody. I was also saved from becoming homeless because I sent a text to the wrong person, but that doesn't suit the thread anywhere near as much. I don't remember all of the details because it was a long time ago but 
TLD our naked pic of GF to dad. I had the pictures saved in some weird place in order to hide them, but I couldn't get them to cover the full screen, so I would text them to myself. It was an old crappy touchscreen phone, the kind that used a grid and pressure. When I was scrolling down to me in the contacts it selected my dad as a recipient on the way down. I managed to go full ninja, convince my mom to drive me to his house by saying it was a very angry text meant for a friend that I was embarrassed about, got in and deleted it before he woke up. P.S. I don't remember how old I was, but apparently not old enough to drive, at least not without an adult in the passenger seat. I have a horrible slash hilarious slash awesome history of sending texts to the wrong person. Most are pretty harmless, like once I was really sick and bedridden for 2 weeks. My so was taking care, if me so I txted her, she was downstairs, and asked her, if she could bring me some green tea, I accidentally sent it to my mate and he actually brought it, but some are very nsfw. I was fwb with this girl from back home, and I was across the planet at the time, so we sexted alert. I meant to send her a dick pic, but sent it to this girl I met a few days ago. I started freaking out, because I legitimately liked this girl, and wanted to date her. Thanking I just murdered my chances with her I started texting an apology, but she sent me a nude back. I'm marrying this woman in February. My mate from the first story, is going to be my best man. Not me, but when my girlfriend, and I still lived apart, she sent a nude to her dad instead of me. She put the pieces together pretty quickly when she heard her dad's phone go off downstairs. My name is also three letters starting with da, and ran down to delete it. Close call that I obviously thought was hilarious. Pretty much every time we dirty text now I tell her to make sure she's not sending it to him. Back in college in my group house, we had a tradition in which we roasted the departing members each year, non-native speakers, roast in this context means, to make fun of someone in front of an audience. One guy's approach to the roast, was that the woman being roasted always got good news, so he was going to give her some bad news. He asked me to text her in the middle of the roast, you are hiv positive. No problem, I'm happy to help out. Then during the roast, the moment of truth arrives, and I clandestinely hit send on my Nokia 2100. Seconds pass. Nothing. The roaster asked the roastee if she had her phone on her, but she didn't. So that's why she didn't get a text notice, I thought. Turns out, she had also changed her phone number, and a couple hours later I get a response back. Who the fuck is this? A girl was texting me naked pics, and I was simultaneously texting my friend with the play by play. She sent me an ass shot and I texted my friend her ass looks like someone stuffed a garbage bag full of mashed potatoes, and then used it for target practice with a BB gun. Except I didn't text that to my friend. I texted it to her. She didn't respond and went silent on me for nearly a month until one day she texted me out of the blue like nothing ever happened. A couple days after she started talking to me again she ended up sucking my cock in the parking lot of a pan or a bread and swallowing a hot load of my babies. This literally happened yesterday. Was texting a friend about how some people making a decent living off sucking dick. My wife's mom texted me to see if I was doing anything after work so we could all go out to dinner. I responded I guess. That depends on how good you are at dick sucking. To her. Instead of my friend. I've never typed I'm sorry so many times in my life. Not one I sent but received from a friend after she left. He has no idea. I just left him now. I wrote it off saying something like my ears are burning, but years later found out her friend who I was into, but was sure hated me actually had a massive crush on me. Ah well, worse things have happened. Not me, but one of my sergeants. We were field training for two weeks, and I was working supply. The lieutenant who was commanding supply was waiting for items reports, getting them as texts. All of a sudden he checks his phone, says what the fuck, and replies very swiftly. He hands me the phone, to see what was up. One of the sergeants instead of an item report had sent you like the thought of me watching, while you fuck other people don't you? The LT had replied not even a sir at the end. I laughed until said sergeant showed up, to apologize and give his item report. Turns out he was trying to sext his wife. Whatever gets you off I guess. A buddy of mine was talking to this girl and had their convo open for some reason when I asked him to play against me at NHL 15. He got up, 
said to me out loud I'm going to spank your fucking ass and sat down in front of the TV. He looked down at his iPhone and somehow it had recorded him saying only that and automatically sent it to her. They're dating now, but you should have seen his face. He sat there for a good 20 seconds yelling no ho ho. Not me but my dad. Tries texting my sister, Carol, by using Siri. Siri asks what message he wants to send to Carl, my dad's work associate. My dad says cancel repeatedly, to which Siri sends cancer cancer to Carl. Carl had recently been diagnosed with cancer. Wrote a really long detailed message explaining my hatred for my unemployed unstable doucher bag of an older brother. It was really brutal, like wish he'd kill himself kind of shit. It was for my mother, because I was trying to get her to kick him out of the house. I sent it to the brother, underscore. He just texted me back with some watch your back bullshit, and continued his terrible worthless existence. After 3 miscarriages, and then a horribly complicated pregnancy with our son, I was warned never to have another child. I had an IUD inserted. It worked well for almost 3 years, but that morning I had tested positive on a home pregnancy test. I had to go to the doctor immediately, because if you get pregnant on an IUD the risk of an ectopic pregnancy is high. I started miscarrying, while waiting for the blood tests to come back. Of course my partner was worried about me, so I texted them as I left the clinic. Well, doesn't fucking matter if it's ectopic or not, I'm having yet another miscarriage. Goddamn am I good at killing babies. Except I accidentally sent the text to my mother-in-law. My friend and I were talking about an annoying mutual coworker who was basically treating the intern as her personal slave. I meant to text my friend who the hell does she think she is? Poor intern's name. I would have told her to shove it up her ass an hour ago. Guess who that got sent to? Not a text exactly, but a text that turned to a call with same outcome. Very long night of drinking in the city which spilled into the morning. Got back to my friends in Jersey and needed to get home upstairs almost one. Five hours one way by early afternoon to walk my dogs since my parents got delayed and couldn't. Obviously wasn't going to make it in my current state. Was talking to this girl Casey at the time more than I was Cassie. Texted Cassie thinking it was Casey then got annoyed she didn't understand some of what I was saying. Called her and explained I know she had to work later, but I needed a huge favor. She was confused and asked who I thought it was on the phone. And I said Casey. We were together the other night to which she replied our right name. Wrong girl. I hung up. Needless to say me, and Cassie didn't get very far lol. Called Casey and it all went way better than expected. Sorry Cassie. When I was in high school I was a leader of the marching band my senior year. I intended to text a good friend of mine. As part of a running joke we had at the time. Are you still alive? Well, this would have been all fine. Except I sent this to a kid, who had been in the hospital for a week and later. That day went into a coma. He's fine now, but shit was serious for a few weeks. He thought it was pretty funny, although his parents seemed to really hate me. I texted my mail roommate not to forget the new batteries for the vibrator. He texted back that he had wondered why all the animal slash jungle sounds had stopped the night before so quickly. That was when I realized I hadn't texted my girlfriend. He did bring batteries though. First year of university, and I was walking to my drug dealer's house for the first time alone. He was just a nice bro looking to make money for groceries, so I'd never had a reason to be afraid of him. But it was pretty late at night, so I was texting my roommate to sort of ease my anxiety. Made small talk with his bro roommates until the deed was done. When I left I texted my roommate the eagle has landed, and I wasn't even sexually assaulted. Before I could put my phone away I got a text from my dealer what? Just a bunch of good guys here haha. Called my weed dealer plus his friends rapists and they continued to be pretty cool after that. Shout out to Pat.